the book of Ephesians chapter 4 compares the body of Christ, meaning the church, to a human body. In verse number 15, we find that the head is Christ. The head of the church is Christ. The head of this body, the body of believers, is Christ. From And the next verse, verse number 16, speaks of the whole body fitly joined together and compacted. What does that mean? That means everything, every part of this body has a purpose and has a design. God put it in there for a reason. If you know Jesus Christ is your Savior, you're part of this body of Christ. You're part of the church, the group of believers. But we find that there's no such thing as a body part that stands off by itself. It speaks here of the body being joined together, fitly joined together in verse 16. You and I, as a Christian, have our part in with the body of Christ. There's no such thing as a body part that is off to itself that does any good. If the body part is taken from off the body, say if you were to cut off my hand and put it by itself over there somewhere, I have a piano, uh, two pianos sitting right over there. If I were to cut off my hand and put it over on that piano, my hand would not be able to play that piano. Why? Because that body part is severed from the rest of the body and mainly because it's severed from the head. So we find a Christian that is not, act, not living their life as part in part of the rest of the body, a Christian that is not living in with this body of believers, but they're trying to be off by themselves, we find that they cannot be as functional as they should be as a Christian because they have severed themselves from the rest of the body and they're not living in fellowship with the head of the body, the church. It has been said there's no such thing as a lone ranger Christian, or at least there shouldn't be. Every Christian has their part to serve inside of the church. Inside of a local body of believers, every Christian should be part of one. We do not find it to be a good thing that there are some Christians who have cut themselves off and set themselves off to the side. If you know Jesus Christ is your Savior, you should be an active member of a local church and remember that your head is Christ and as such you are part of the body and, as, and being part of the body of Christ, this local church, you should be serving Him. You cannot do it well enough without being part of the body and without being under the head.